in the recent days we over complicated exercise so much we made ourselves believe that just going to the gym is the most effective way to exercise yes by far it's the most effective way to get the workout done but guess what 63% of the gym memberships go unused and in that 70 to 80% of the people go make can make it to the gym just once a week and 22% of the people quit the gym in 6 months i'm dr nandini sankredi i'm board certified in family medicine lifestyle medicine and obesity medicine uh today i'm going to talk to you all about how to exercise effectively without paying hundreds and thousands of dollars for the gym membership first of all let's talk about what happens to your body when you exercise so when you exercise what happens is you're increasing the temperature of your body so when you're increasing your temperature in your body the muscle says i need more blood circulation so it makes the heart work hard that that's the whole reason why you your heart rate goes up so it makes the heart work harder to release more blood and the heart says the blood cannot go without its partner and the partner for the blood is the oxygen so in turn it makes the lungs release more oxygen so the whole body circulation is improved in that way when the circulation is improved it has the maximum health benefits first of all it increases your immunity and uh, it also helps you to prevent uh, from getting diabetes heart diseases strokes um and it also helps to maintain weight loss as well as in the long run it improves your mood because when you exercise you also release some hormones so the brain says i can work a little bit to release some hormones so that happy hormones gets released and that helps your mood as well so to get these health benefits the question is how much of exercise do you actually need because overdoing exercise is also not a good thing so the cdc dam center for disease control came up with these guidelines of uh, 115 minutes of moderate intensity exercise along with two days of resistance training exercises or strength training exercises that is what we need if you want to take a shortcut you can you can do that you don't want to do like 150 minutes you can always do 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise with two days of strength training and how do we actually measure this intensity you don't need an expensive in- instrument to do that you can everybody can do it so how do we do that so when you are exercising next time if you are able to talk and if you are able to sing that means you are doing mild intensity if you are able to talk but you cannot sing that means you are doing the moderate intensity and if you are not able to talk not able to sing that means you are at vigorous intensity exercise so it's as simple as that and when i say 150 minutes if you divide it it's 30 minutes per day of uh, aerobic activity so if you are a beginner to exercise there are three rules which you really need to follow one is go slow so if you have never exercised try to start with like 5 minutes walk keep it so and increase your intensity by 5 minutes every day even if you do 5 minutes walk every single day if you, it's uh, if you would look at the end of 5 days you've done 25 minutes which is even better than not doing anything and the second thing is you consistency so it's proven that whenever you do something which you really enjoy doing you're going to be more consistent doing it for example like some people enjoy swimming go for it some people enjoy trekking go for it as long as you enjoy it you're going to likely do it more and more so um, the key for being consistent is try to pick an aerobic activity which you, which you really enjoy doing and the third one is keep it as simple as possible so for example like for the resistance training uh, 
really don't have to get uh, invest in like a gym equipment which is going to lie down in the basement forever and you're not going to use instead get some simple resistant bands which are not it which are fairly inexpensive um or get some weights like these you don't have to get the five pounds you can just get one pound keep it on the table where you uh, where you're sitting down so that whenever you get a break you can start doing some biceps curls and uh, the more reps you do the better it is and the other thing is uh, um, there are few examples uh, i want to give you so these are some of the pictures where a person is working as well as working out at the same time so these have come up during the pandemic where people have worked for have been working from home a lot so if you get some something like these you might want to invest on in those so that you are working at the and this is a perfect example for work and workout balance and the other thing which is really important is neat neat is non exercise activity thermogenesis so neat helps to burn up to 500 to 700 calories per day so the neat uh, constitutes mainly our daily activities what we do during the day like playing with kids going for grocery shopping or uh, taking stairs more than elevator or even walking while talking on the phone all these things constitute the neat so the more neat you have the more active you are and uh, sitting more than 5 hours doubles the risk for heart disease and sitting now sitting down longer time is considered equal risk equal to smoking stop sitting and start moving so and the next video we are going to talk to you all about exercise and relation to weight loss stay tuned to style your health md don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on facebook and instagram on style your health md and if you have any questions feel free to email me at styleyourhealthmd@gmail.com i won't be able to answer any individual personal questions but if you all want me to discuss about any topic you can always email me at styleyourhealth@gmail.com thank you